It's an air fryer and a lot more. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This is the Dreo Air Fryer Pro and it's 6.8 quarts. It is a really big space. There's a lot you can cook in here. It's really very fun, super easy to work with. You can put the whole thing, well, this part at least in the dishwasher, the part that gets dirty. It does of course have a tray, but it's a removable tray and it is BPA free plastic on the edges. There's no orientation, so it just goes in and it's easy to work with. And you can see it just sits on the bottom, really pretty darn easy to work with. And then remember how I said that it was more than just one capability? Well, this is an 11 in one cooker that includes all these different cooking modes. It includes air fry and bake and roast and broil and dehydrate. And of course there's a preheat feature too. Now the whole idea of air fryers and really with even the other features you're using is that it has 360 degree air circulation. So you put food in an oven and it just sits there and slowly the heat gets onto the food, right? Or into the food. But with something like this, it's circulating the air. So it cooks at least 30% faster, if not more so. And this one has a huge temperature range. It can go from 100 degrees Fahrenheit to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. That's how you get things like dehydrate, right? Put it on 100 degrees, put in some fruit, let it just sit for half a day or something, and it'll come out super delicious. 450 is when you're getting into broil and you have a really nice piece of fish that you just maybe took off your barbecue, but you really want that little edge seared on the top. You could broil it in here, really easy. Now, the whole thing's controlled by this huge LED touchscreen on the top. I'll show you that in a second. And like I said, dishwasher safe. And here's one really cool thing about it. Let me see if I can demo this from the side. Is there's a window, and in the window you can see what's cooking. So you can get a quick peek to see how it's going. Now, what I want to do is I want to make that classic air fryer dish, which is french fries. And it's super easy to work with, but I need to move some things around to do that. So before I do that, I just want to show that it comes with a user guide and more importantly, it comes with a hundred recipe recipe book. This will keep you busy. They have steak and Cajun salmon and omelets and French toast sticks. Hmm, that sounds pretty tasty. And barbecue bacon. Now, I am ready for all of that. I just would like to have it all piled up, all done. But unfortunately, when you're cooking, you gotta cook. So let me get some things moved around and we'll make some French fries. So the easy part of making French fries, actually the whole process is pretty easy, but obviously get some nice big, this is a russet potato. It's a classic potato for French fries and a nice sharp knife and basically cut them the style you like. Now. I like them with the skin on. A lot of people peel that off, but I don't. So what I do is I wash my potato enthusiastically, and then all you have to do is cut it to the size you like. So you can do these big chunky steak fries. That is a big steak fry, or you can do something a little simpler and you can then cut it up into what I like, which is more of a shoestring style. So by doing this, it's a little bit of work, but you can see, that I get these nice small french fries. They're long, but they're small, so they'll cook reasonably quickly. And it's a matter of, I don't know, just a couple of minutes of work to take an entire potato and chop it up and make it ready for the french fryer cooking. And I'll just do the rest of this just for example. So there's, I don't know, a quarter of our potato ready to go. Now, what usually people do and what I like to do is I like to soak the cut potato in water for anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. And what that does, I believe, is it pulls some of the starch out, which makes it a little crispier and a little tastier. So I have already, in the spirit of great cooking shows, <laughs> done that preparation and had some potatoes soaking for a while. So. Let me switch things up one more time. I have my potatoes. They've been soaking in water for a while. You can see they're cut pretty small. That's how I like them. And then I have a cutting board. I have a cloth because we're going to need to get some of the moisture off of them. 
And then the key to really good french fries is I'm going to put a little bit of oil on it. I use olive oil for everything. So I'm going to brush that on with my oil brush. And then we're going to use some Southwest Chipotle salt-free seasoning. Really good stuff. It's going to make for some wicked good french fries. So process is pretty easy. Take some of the fries out of the water. And this doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to just get most of the moisture off of it. So I'll do that and then just put them over here ready for some oil and seasoning and do the same with another batch. And you really don't want to drink this water, but it might, if you really need starch, I don't know, maybe you could use it with your iron and you can get some nice stiff clothes. <laughs> I haven't used starch with ironing since, I don't know, a mighty long time. I don't even know if they even do that anymore. So we'll stop here. That should be plenty. So I'm going to move this off and move that off. And so now we have our potatoes ready to roll, but now we need to put some oil on them. So I'm going to just spread them out a little bit. And we'll get some oil. And as I said, this is just extra virgin olive oil. and a brush and this is a pretty interesting brush this is one of those um, barbecue marinade brushes so it can actually handle very very hot food as opposed to like a paintbrush which you would not want to use while you had food actually on the barbecue so this doesn't have to be perfect it's just going to give it a little extra crispiness so I'll do this and we're going to shake the french fries as we cook them so I don't have to get all the sides of them because that will naturally happen as we proceed. That looks good. So now let's give it some seasoning. And this is going to be the special crowning element of this that's going to make them taste absolutely delicious. And I'm seasoning them pretty heavily because again, I know a lot of it's going to just fall off and end up in the air fryer. So we got all that. I think we're ready to roll with the actual air frying process. So I'm going to pull this out and just dump all my fries in. So don't have to worry about having them perfectly spread out because again, as we go, we'll be shaking it up and let's see. So that's about one potato's worth. And you can see here that it covers up the bottom. I might put a little more seasoning in. I, I like things to be spicy. So we will pop this open, give it just a little more because as everyone who enjoys spices knows, you can't really have too much. And so we're pretty much ready to roll. So now all I need to do, and my hand's a little oily, which is why I'm not using my right hand, is put it in the air fryer and now I'm going to switch the camera up just a little bit again so you can see as I program it to get it started cooking. So hang on. All right, let's power it up. Now you can see there are different baking and modes on the left. Time, power, start, pause, temperature, and then there's other features. Now I should re or preheat this, but in fact, I already have. So super easy. I don't think we need 15 minutes. I think we need 20 minutes. And I think the temperature should be 380. And we can go with the menu and you can see fries is flashing. So 20 minutes at 380. Sounds good. Let's start. Now listen to how noisy it is. Which is to say it's not very noisy at all. It's like a hairdryer on its lowest setting, if that. So we now have 20 minutes and it's somewhere along the way it's going to prompt us to pull out the actual cooking area and shake up all the fries. We'll do that a couple of times and I'll come back in about 19 and a half minutes. So let's let this cook and I'll be right back. We're back and it only has two seconds left. So we're done. Now 
before I actually open it and we see what we have created, I wanted to show you a tiny little video so you could see, you turn a light on and you can peek through here as it's cooking and you can see they look pretty tasty, but really the question is, how'd they come out? So there's a button on the top, you push it and that lets you pull these out and here we go. They are on the crispy side, which is how I like it. So let's just get them all dumped in here. And you can see there's all that seasoning. I'm gonna push it aside for a second, put this back in because it is pretty hot. So here are our french fries and what are french fries without ketchup? So let's get some ketchup. And the big test is there is a french fry and mm, it's good it's a little hot <laughs> but definitely tasty now you can see i suppose i shouldn't eat and talk at the same time but you can see how the oil has given us a little bit more of a sort of crispy brown outside and the fries have a nice coating of the seasoning on them too. So these are rock and roll, really good fries. Now I pulled it out and shook it around and flipped it up a little bit and just sort of made them move around twice during the 20 minutes that we were cooking. And yeah, you know, depending on how thick you've cut it, they might do with another minute or two. Again, I like having the sort of skinny fries and that also cuts down the time a little bit. They recommend 22 minutes. I did it for 20 minutes, <laughs> so, you know, we can split the difference, but however you look at it, I will say that if they were serving me these at a restaurant, I would be very happy and I would be telling my friends to go and check out the french fries. But of course, <laughs> this isn't about the darn french fries, this is about the air fryer. And so, as you can see, it's really easy to work with. It's fun. The little window that you can peek in is great for the kids. There is a vent out the back and because it's using air to circulate the heat, the vent out the back, it's pretty hot air. So you definitely don't want this just tucked against the back of your <clears throat> kitchen counter. Pull it out, give it some space for that heat to dissipate and really super easy to work with tons of different cooking modes, tons of different options. It's really big. The dimensions aren't that big actually. It's 14 inches by 12 inches by 13 inches, but the capacity is huge. That 6.8 quarts is a lot. Now, I have another air fryer that's about two thirds the size. So the whole unit is smaller, but this is much smaller. So for the smaller one, one potato's worth of french fries is you know, plenty enough, but here I could easily have cooked twice as much as I cooked here. And this is enough for a family, an enthusiastic family of four to be chowing down on french fries. I shall not have them all right now. <laughs> I'll wait till we're done. So really the only thing left to talk about is the price. But before I get to the price, I'm going to ask if you could subscribe to my channel, click or tap on that subscribe button, super easy. And then don't forget to turn on notifications so you're aware when I post new reviews. Great. Now, this is the Dreo Air Fryer Pro 6.8 quart and it's 13014 currently minus a $10 coupon makes it $120.14 at amazon.com. This is a no brainer. I love the capacity. It's super easy to work with. That little window that lets you peek is really sweet and it's definitely one worth checking out. And I got to stop talking and start eating some fries. So I'll catch you in my next video.